Last time we left off uh, when we just got some upgrades and now we're considered a uh, Shadow Dragon member so we can get some upgrades over at the vendor. This little like thing that we can read. Do you remember a time where Candle Hops didn't run messages through the city? Okay. Every time I see that, I just think of Candle Jack. <laughs> All right, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and uh, get our uh, skills since we just got that. We have uh, two skill points, actually. Nice. And now we can finally get the skill that we were wanting, which is the explosive daggers. And then uh, I guess we have to take the, get the uh, tank down uh, damage that's, like, required because we need to progress anyways. Get quickened after defeating an enemy with a crit. I mean, that's kind of RNG if we get the crit. Um, we'd have crit damage. Upgrade per... Uh, abilities. This is actually probably pretty good. I mean, 100 damage is not bad at all, uh, but it is two skill points. But we are only level 11, so we would go 11, 12, 13, 14, and we can't get this anyways. So we may uh, actually branch out and go upwards. And the reason why I want to go upwards um, is there is unsustained. I like using the mouse for this. Um, I wish you could control F on this thing, or like have some sort of text search so you know how POE does it. Uh, there is some HP nodes over here. I don't remember where they're at. Okay, there's, oh, Fizz Resistance, Primer. Okay, there's extra HP right there. Uh, so what I would like to get, uh, if possible, is that extra HP. Is there any more HP nodes? We have damage versus armor, arrow regen, affliction damage. But I want like faster arrow like shot this is like more on the bow side upgrades duration abilities physical res so we can get like 20 percent fizz res but I, I would rather just get the 100 hp what is this one arrows gain after defeating enemy okay and let's see what else we have stagger momentum takedown electric electric damage remember there was something electric at the very top but is there any more hp nodes so i can see where i want to actually path Damage versus armor. So I guess if you really wanted to build like a range build, maybe you can do it. Uh, up, upgrades projectile abilities. They deal 24% more damage. Okay. So the further you are away. So you can probably play a range build. We have some resistances. And then... Oh, what does this do? Gifts from Arlathan? Shoots out some daggers? Wait, so wait. There's there's three, right? Okay, this is... this is Oh, this is the ranger path. Okay. So you have Sniper's Triumph, hold, headshot. After a charge, weak point headshot, your next shot will fire multiple arrows. How many, how many did it shoot out? It didn't even look like it was more. All right. Maximum shock, hitting enemies with an area ability. Also apply shocked. Uh, what does shock actually do in this game? Deals, okay, so yeah, actually I, I was shocked earlier and it did damage over time. And then we have the Archer's Rhythm, hold, then release it at maximum charge, firing a charge shot. The moment it reaches maximum charge, it increases the damage. Fifty percent damage. Wow. When momentum is above sixty-six, bows deal two hundred additional electric damage. Charge bow damage ten percent. Knock down enemies with uh, when your charge arrow hits their legs. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that idea. Uh, I wonder if you can do like a finisher like, if they're knocked down. If that like counts. I'm guessing you can't just like knock down a boss by shooting his legs. I mean that'd be pretty op. But uh, I mean maybe that will be something that we'll mess around with. But this is kind of nice. Uh, I definitely like that. So we'll path up here. And then what else is there? We get, we get Toxic Dash. Okay, and it also applies Sundered. Uh, Crowd Control. There's, there's no HP down here. I mean, there's this that gives us recovery, but the other HP thing is like so far. But I literally, I only want that one. Uh, when you have low health, your tool abilities do more damage. Control does more damage. To, okay. Fizz res. I guess we can go and grab this. Otherwise, I mean, I'm going to path towards here, but let's see. So it's one, two, three, four, five to get it. Or, or if I go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, game momentum. Uh, okay. Oh, that's not too bad. So one, two, three, four, five. But this one over here is one, two, three, four, five. What do we get over here? When your momentum is 100 higher, charge attack to apply bleed. Okay, so we can get some extra like bonus condition. I'll go this path uh, instead. All right, now we can see if there's uh, any uh, other things because we... The warehouse. Dark spawn, huh? Those damned All right. 
So now we get to... I thought we were... We raised the rank over here. I guess we, we still can't buy anything. Oh, oh, there's different tabs. So we can buy armors over here. Oh, I didn't even know this. There was tabs. Okay, so we have weapons. We have armor. Uh, so what do we have? We have momentum generation. Or we have damage versus barrier. I, I think that this is... I'd rather get this. It gives us a little bit more defense. And then what else do we have for options? Yeah, this is a little bit more defense, more ability damage. Uh, and then we also have range attack damage. Uh, how much is it? 250? Oh, that's not even that bad at all. And then this one is 200 and just more numbers and we have momentum generation. So that's kind of nice. And then with a Neve, uh, detonation supply chilled. I mean, 46% extra damage for 300. I mean, sure. I'm going to probably keep her in her party now. I want her and the dwarf so far. And then we don't have anything here. And then we have valuables. And then what do we have? Appearance. I wish you could, like, view them before, like, you bought them, though. This one almost looks like it could be kind of cool. How much is this? 110? All right, let's go buy this. I just want to see what it looks like. And now we've got it. Safe out there. So now we have another objective, but I wonder, can we go in? You can't just go in here to change armor, right? Let's see, character. Oh, you can you? Oh, that's right. We would we would be looking at like appearance. Oh, didn't we swap armors? I think. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, we lose out on a lot of. Uh, oh, that's. Oh, so that's that one plus two. Is that how it works? Well, this is a good amount of damage for barriers. So yeah, we'll go work. We'll go with it. I feel like we take so much damage, though, in, just in general. Like, it's like two or three hits and your character's, like, rip. Oh, that's right. We couldn't access that area before with the chest. We need some other, like, special character to progress. The Space Traveler Elf. Oh, she, you think she's really good? What happens if there's blood magic? I don't have enough momentum though. Take them out. Nice. Oh, whoops. I need to put heal on her. Done. Let me go ahead and actually equip her with heal because uh, this character uh, doesn't have the heals. Sneeve. So uh, I didn't really care for Icebreaker. Oh, it's the abilities on cooldown. Also, if her abilities are on cooldown, you can't swap, which is fair. I, I get it. Really not have authority over mages in Tevinter? What happens if there's blood magic? What do they do? Also, I'm curious, how much momentum does our character actually have? Is it like 100? Uh, let's see if we can go to like uh, stats. Attack, utility, defense. No, it doesn't. Is there like another way to see resources? No, that's not the kind of resource. I want, like, my mana. Does anyone know how much mana do you start off with? We have... That's health. And it doesn't really, like, tell us that. And I feel like that's important because it says plus 50 momentum, but, like, I don't know how much we start off with with the default. Because if 50 is, like, what do you do when the out of 100, that's actually pretty massive. The right thing. That's how I keep busy. You're not playing mage? What? Are you also playing rogue? Largest or what class are you playing? They're all like blocking the area. Okay. Open up the door. Let's see what we got behind this door. I am Jowin Glastrum, First Warden and Supreme Commander of Weishaupt. I received word of your team's request for Grey Warden assistance after an incursion of the Blight at Demeter's Crossing. You're a Shadow Dragon, I hear. A criminal organization of Tevinter insurgents. 
I was not surprised to learn that you are wanted for numerous offenses, including theft, murder, and wanton destruction of property. Some wardens are criminals. <laughs> I hear the Grey Wardens take in criminals. <laughs> Thieves, murderers, and... Oh, probably vandals too. I'd wager I'm in good company. Fine. All I want to know is how <laughs> that work. this crook unleashed the blight. I think unleashed is a little strong. <laughs> it was an unfortunate side effect. <laughs> the blight was a side effect. <laughs> yes, of stopping the dreadwolf, elven god of lies, from destroying the veil. We did stop him, by the way. You're welcome. I did not come here to listen to fairy tales. I am here because of the blight. We haven't even gotten to the real fairy tale parts yet. When we stopped Solus, two elven gods escaped from where he'd imprisoned them. Elganan and Gilanane. And they're not just evil, they're blighted. The point is that the gods are making the blight worse. Demeter's crossing was just the start. That's why we need the Grey Wardens. It is clear that whatever you did to unleash the blight has corrupted your already weak mind. Okay, wait. You will be taken to Weishaupt and placed under heavy guard until the danger you caused by unleashing the blight passes. Just listen, you idiot. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Are you kidding me? I assure you, I am deadly serious. I don't have time to sit here and stroke your ego. You need to shut up and listen. The threat is real. The gods are coming and they're bringing the blight with them. Let me tell you something about the blight. It is evil, it is implacable, and above all, it is predictable. The Blight has not changed in over a thousand years. The Grey Wardens will defeat it, as they always do. And we will do so without you causing confusion with your deranged conspiracy theories. I suggest you come along quietly. Adamant Fortress 941 Dragon. The Grey Wardens attempted to raise an army of demons. Hardly the models of good judgment yourselves, are you? Everyone knows Warden Commander Clarell acted alone at Adamant Fortress. Acted alone, you say? Imagine if everyone were to see the letter I discovered where you authorize her actions. I wonder how that might complicate the narrative. Are you prepared to risk the security of the Grey Wardens for this deluded girl? You may be surprised to learn that I care very little about the security of the Grey Wardens. Stay away from the Blight and do not pester the Grey Wardens with any more of your nonsense. He seems upset. Was it something I said? <laughs> He's just blackmail. <laughs> you have blackmail material on the leader of the Grey Wardens just lying around. <laughs> Of course not. Where would I obtain something like that? Oh, you were bluffing. That's actually scarier. <laughs> Magister Dorian Parvis, at your service. A mutual friend thought you might require some support. Mavaris Talani, of the Shadow Dragons. The very same. I think we made an enemy of the First Warden today. Well, more you than me. He just thinks I'm a dangerous idiot. Ha! Enemy. I've ignored greater men. No Grey Warden worth the name sits in a Menrathus lounge sipping wine. You need the Wardens? Look for the ones out there fighting the Blight. In the meantime, the Shadow Dragons will keep a close watch on the Venatori. Good luck. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. I look at saboteur that's what i plan to go man or actually no i'm sorry is it was a duelist the other one is like applying poisons right between us and a world of blighted darkness but on this side the gods could only tap a trickle they had to turn that trickle into a flood they sure could have used solus's dagger to rip open the fade but some foolish mortal had taken it. So, they'd have to create a dagger of their own. Drowning the world in blight was just a matter of time.
Is the game good? You've heard some good and bad things about this game? I mean, I like it. I think it gets better after, like, the first five hours, for sure. But the combat's been good throughout the entirety of the game, and I think that's... For me, that's actually pretty important, because the combat sucked. I mean, sometimes I go through the game for the story. Like, Dragon Age 1, I didn't really care for the combat. I really like the game for, specifically, the story. But this game... The story is getting a little bit better with the side quest, but the main quest is, like... They open a portal, bad enemies. That's kind of it. I wish there was a taunt in this game like in uh, Devil May Cry. I mean, there's so many things that I just wish they just copied from Devil May Cry. But uh, we got uh, some skills to go ahead and acquire. We have one skill point. Um, so we get this one over here where we can gain quick enough after getting a crit. But I don't know what our crit strike chance is. That'd probably be something good to actually look at. Uh, we have to get this one first. Oh, I think we're still considered in combat. That's why. This is uh, kind of a side air. Oh, this is enemies. I don't really like that ability. It doesn't have enough reach. Like I, need, I need more like a radius. Music almost reminds me of like Mass Effect. Okay. Now can I... Are we still in combat? You read the notes on the circle, bro, case. The murdered magister's ape. Okay, let's see if we can put in the skill points now. I'm gonna use my mouse because it's like way faster. Okay, there we go. So now we gain extra uh, ultimate Open and HP. Oh, and then also there's one thing I need to do with my companions. So we're gonna go to um, Neve, and then we are going to equip instead of this. We're gonna equip the heal. Can we like move this? Okay, cool. It actually swaps where the locations are. I like that. Oh, you can't you can't take the, the armor off. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Hard to get an angle like that. It is. Where would you take it from? I don't know the place that well, but there's a tower not far that would get a clean shot and good cover. But if you were angry and in a hurry, if the shot were more lucky than planned. Hmm. Well, there's that bridge. Wait. Why are you asking me? Watch for Venator. Can you? I'm just wondering. No, you can't do anything. Can't detect the animals. There is also like some waypoint that's like super far down. Saboteur is tore from Overwatch. Oh, you can build a turret? What's up, Kevin? How you doing? Oh, I keep on accidentally giving people the f my, my gold away. Why does everyone call him oh, wait. Was I able just to fast travel? A candle hall. Oh, no, no, no. They carry messages through the city. We're good, we're good. You had me followed. Inquired about. Oh no, I, I was just supposed to... I, I don't know if you can fast travel straight up from there. 
Uh, can we fa could, could we have fast traveled or did I just walk around for like no reason? Like, can okay, let's open up like the map or something. Is there like a map? All right, here we go. Can I just? Oh, uh, you can only mark it on the map. Oh, fast travel. Oh. I mean, hey, we did technically still kill some stuff, so and we got some loot. So it's not like it was a complete waste of time. But I didn't know you could just open up the map like that. You get a noob tube and then a skill that throws a turret. Yeah, but that skill had a really, really long cooldown. Right? It's like 60 seconds or something. I just remember seeing it had a really long cooldown. But if it's really good, maybe it's worth it, man. There you are. I haven't seen much of you lately. I was getting worried. Everything all right? Wait, that dagger. I've seen it before. Solus was using it at the ritual site. No, uh, before that. Shit, it can't be. Look at it, Rook. I've been fidgeting with this thing since I picked it up, Barak. I know what it looks like. That blighted chunk of lyrium is what started all this. In more ways than one. If I hadn't found it in the deep roads... You remember the story. One carved idol of red lyrium made its way to the surface and... All hell broke loose. It can't be the same one, can it? Oh, look at it. It's changed, but it's the same size. Same ring at the top. Not to mention, it's pure lyrium. No one. Not even the dwarves in Orzammar work pure lyrium like that. It's too dangerous. If that's true, if this dagger is the red lyrium idol from your story, how did Solus cleanse it of the blight? I, I have no idea. I can't believe you found it. Oh, hey, Rook. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? <laughs> no, go ahead. <laughs> Which Harding am I talking to? That depends. Am I just talking to Lace Harding, or...? Things are weird, but I'm adjusting, I think. That's not what I came in here for, though. All right, Harding. What's on your mind? So, the Wardens. I know some. A married couple Varric and I met while we were tracking Solus. I'd almost forgot about that. I really am getting too old for this shit. You think they'll talk to us? After the first Warden and everything? It's worth a try. I can write them and hope. Okay. Let's see who's in our corner. Okay. So now I think we gotta go down here. Wait, actually, can we just fast travel from here? Is that like a thing? Oh, wait, this is kind of cool. So we have like the whole map. Just so we can see kind of how big the game is. I want to see how far it goes down. Okay. So we got to go over here. Oh, can I? Oh, there we go. So we want uh, Harding and then uh, Neve. Looks like our squad right now. The double healers. Until we get, uh, I don't know, if we... Get enough cooldown reduction if we can only run one. I don't. I don't think it's gonna be a thing because it's like still twenty eight seconds. The dock's been fixed. The caretaker must be regaining control of the crossroads. The deeper current. Felt at the moment the boat docked. That's the fade. We just got that ring with that uh, ten cold res too, right? And it was like ten cold and fire res. Assuming this area is gonna have some like cold damage. Dogspawn. Let's clear them out. Oh, someone else is attacking with us.
So it's, I want to swap this to the, the middle so I can do that on, on that real fast. Oh, we got a ring. We got shocked damage. We don't have any uh, shock. Uh, in fact, what we should do is um, if we can give the other girl the the ring with the cold damage, because I can't really use that. All right, what does this one do? I, I can't really use shock damage, uh, I believe, either. Oh, they have one trinket. So what does this one do? Oh, freeze duration, I guess, is like usable. Uh, does she have like lightning damage? I want to swap this to. Uh, I don't know how to just uh, with a uh, do a controller. Oh, you can't even swap the skills until you. I guess you do their like loyalty mission. What is this thing though? Okay. Precision the first time Harding uses an ability. What does that do? 25 pen trace first crit? Okay. All right, let's keep it going. Uh, I, why does it only show her in the party? So she's required. Oh, you will meet a gray warden. Oh, okay, cool. So we want Neve. Because Har Harding is required, but it's fine because I already prefer to have her anyways. Oh. Oh, so it just shows that... Okay, because when I only saw there was one character, I was worried that we'd only get one. And Antoine answered our letter. They're willing to talk. In the middle of nowhere? Where the first warden won't notice. But if they don't listen... Your distraction worked. Could have said it when we were farther away. Bizuli, I didn't say it was a good plan. This guy looks like he's from like a different game, doesn't he? Like it looks like it's like Pixar or something. Arding, we meet again. Antoine, Avka, you look well. And you must be Rook. Heard some colorful things about you. Yeah, I get that a lot. I can imagine. What have you come to talk about? The elven gods are changing the blight. Darkspawn too. There was a village, Demeta's Crossing. They overran it with the blight in a snap. We saw the aftermath. Whatever they're planning, it's bad. And if it involves the blight, we need warden help. A change? Manipulation. That could explain. But... Uh, you believe me? That the elven gods are here and... I, it's it's a lot to accept, but we've been looking into oddities with the blight ourselves. It's altered. I can feel it. And your story, a lot lines up. Exactly. Besides, even if you doubt me, you know Harding wouldn't lie. That's not a reason to... I mean, I'm not lying. We're not lying. We know. The question is what to do next. If the First Warden believes that village was an aberration, or that it did not happen as you say... We're not exactly the First Warden's favorites. Your word and our theories won't win the whole order. So what do we do? If the Darkspawn are changing, Davern might help. Even among Wardens, he's known as a monster hunter. He got pulled on a mission. Not sure what, but it's farther into the mountains. We can get you a rough location. I married someone with good advice. You find Davrin. And we'll keep after the blight. I can do that. And you won't regret helping us. How is that supposed to be comedy? That's why I kind of selected it. <laughs> okay. 
I don't know if we're gonna get both of them. It'd be kind of cool that, that like one of the companions in the game is like a double, like you get two of them at the same time. I like that idea. Well, I'd say we found the camp. So did some darkspawn, looks like. The fire's still going. Were they ambushed? Oh, it was like a pet character? Don't eat me. <laughs> it's just a weird one. Hey there. No need to bite. He's young. Still yeah. trying to work out what he likes to eat. Who are you? Rook. Evka and Antoine sent us. We're looking for Davrin. You found him. Mind telling me why you smell like Darkspawn? Griffins hunt Darkspawn. We don't smell that bad. It's the tent. <laughs> Light? Where are Lancet and Remy? The camp was empty when we got here. Hassan, to the trees! We can help. Try to keep up. All right, kind of a cool little start uh, over here for this one. But uh, do we have a... Uh, let me check if we have a uh, skill point. Okay. All right, no skill points. Let's continue. He's got a scent. Follow the squawks. I, I, I'm, I'm just, like, curious. We want the world to think that. Huh. It's why we're training in the middle of nowhere. It'd be pretty interesting if you could just, like, shoot him down. And the guy would get mad and wouldn't party up with you and try to fight you. That's the kind of level of stuff that I want to see. I don't, I don't think there's any way you can kill him, though. There was a dark spawn. Dead dark spawn. These are part of the training. Hassan was half right. There's no time for half wrong. Hassan, we're looking for live dark spawn. He understands. Not sure he understands anything but dinner. Keep on it, Hassan. They're around here somewhere. Some text, what it said. We scoured the Weiss Hop libraries and found nothing useful for, for training the Griffins. Okay. How do we get up that? The Griffins have been training for this sort of thing. Let's see if Hassan is paying attention. Hassan can reach certain switches and dig up dirt piles, look at the object, and press left bumper. Okay. Okay, we got another item. It does a little bit less damage, but it gives him a little bit more stagger. I don't really care. I'd rather take the extra two. It's like, what's that, like 1.8% damage? <laughs> Pull switches. Oh, oh! So that's that's what we needed for that uh, chest in one of the towns. I remember. No, Lance and Remy did. They're the Griffin Whisperer. Hold up. Well, that Blizzard skill is incredibly. Like OP man, I almost want to reroll to mage. This is so much damage. So it just cleared out all of them. Like so fast. What is this? Oh, okay, both companions can attack. So what does he have? He has. A strike, 
Death from above. Okay. Remy, where are you? Remy, where are you hurt? Uh, everywhere. The monster came out of nowhere. Dark spawn were following it. Lance, it ran ahead. It's back. Davrid. We have to keep going. Let's get through here. Those two statues with the spare key. Line up the symbols. What did you mean by it's back? The Something symbols. stalking Grey Wardens. We call it the Gloom Howler. Oh, okay. I'm hunting it. Started happening seven, eight months ago. Darkspawn obey it. There's some kind of hold over them. The Crossroad merch? Uh, I don't think I know what you're talking about. I don't, I'm probably not there yet. Son, this is real. How do you get his name? It's Elvis for Harry. Toby grows into it. More dogs born here. Lance, it's trying to stop the Gloomhelmer. It's going after the other Griffins. More. The bridge is out. This place is falling apart. Okay, There's can't make the trump. There. That's our way through. This. Well, that does a lot of damage. It's it's interesting how like the first few hours of this game, like the gameplay changes a lot. Like it's way less. Um, like bullet spongy. Like the, the the enemies die a lot faster now. another belt we, we got extra heals I don't really care about the duration of the potion effect I'll go for the extra healing oh I can't equip it now because we're still in combat An upgrade, we get extra damage and stagger. Okay, cool. And then we have light attack damage, fifteen percent. Told you this. I told them. Your first warden doesn't want our help. He's a stubborn woman. The gloom howler wants the Griffins. Why? The real question's how it knows about them. Up until now, it only went after wardens. Now it shows up here with a rabble of darkspawn. These Griffins are a secret. over there oh probably access it later Yeah. 
want to get closer so I can pop this on all of them. It's a boss? Exploding uh, dark spawn? What is this? Like I said, this blight. So is that one gonna kill that one? No. All the trap and all the little like griffins. More griffins? We have to get them out of there. Some kind of blood magic on these locks. It's okay, Hines. Calm down. You two run tail. We'll come back for both of you. Hmm. I think we came through that way, right? It's this way. No? There's something I missed over there. Ah, it's this. We're just gonna pop this. Oh man, that's so much damage, man. I like the heal on finisher. That's actually a really nice thing to grab. Heads up. We've got one more dark spot. Main look. Oh. The ogre. We absolutely obliterated that. I don't think we got hit once on that one. <laughs> absolutely deleted him. Ooh. Oh, it's for him though. But we did get a level up, so let's go ahead and put in that skill point, man. This looks so cool. It is pretty cool, Christian. Uh, the next one we get is what? Uh, primer duration. I don't really care too much about that though, but the other stat is all for like crit. This thing it actually does seem like it's kind of worth it. I mean, it's plus 100 damage on every single attack, right? Upgrade to projectile ability. It's just all projectile abilities. Yeah, I think that's worth it. It's two points, and I think it's super worth it. Because, like, um, we can't even get this until level 20 anyways. So, we're just going to go all the way around. It's like six points for plus 100 HP. But that's the only HP node on the entire tree as far as I'm aware of. Which is a really low amount. Like, in total. Like, there's only one. Ooh, I think we're fighting a boss. Who is this guy? The Gloom Howler. Oh, 
Mr. Warden. On both of you. No one needs to spill anyone's blood. We just want the Griffins. They were never yours. No! Mortal threats are a dull blade! Thirteen griffins alive in Thetis. That monster just took twelve of them. What if we could help get them back? I'd ask. What's the catch? I need a monster hunter. For the blight to end all blights. The first warden agreed to this? <laughs> uh, we don't need approval. <laughs> I don't need permission to save the world. I do. Usually. These are unusual times. Well, you did save Asan back there, so you're no lightweight. And if you can help get the other Griffins back. He likes the idea. He's hoping you brought food. All right. Come on, Asan. Let's get to know our new friends. Oh, so that was that was the thing? Oh, okay. So I guess now he's joining us because we're gonna go do it. That's probably his loyalty quest. Okay, cool. So this is where you live, huh? In the fade? Yeah, it's cozy. And the gods can't find us here. Right. Never going to get used to that. We'll find you in Asana, nice. Rook. What's wrong? It's bad, Rook. Dea sent word. Treviso's under attack by a blighted dragon. Damn it. The one we saw at Demeter's Crossing. It has to be. Nev, I'm... What is it? We heard from the Viper right after the Crows. Another dragon is attacking Minrathis, too. It's... No. You got back just in time. Okay, let's go. Then grab your gear and let's go. Go where? We cannot be in two places at once. Treviso's a merchant city. It has no defenses. And the canals run everywhere. If we don't stop that dragon, people will die. Innocent people. My people. They either die right away from the dragon or slowly after from blight in the water. We need to go to Treviso. And leave Minrathus to burn? Nev. You're a shadow, Dragon Rook. You know the Viper, Tarquin, every damn shadow. We'll fight to the end, but people will get hurt or worse. And if we fail, the Venatori will take advantage. To make a push for the throne and hand the gods the entire Tevinta Empire. Okay, cool. <laughs> what kind of dragons are they? <laughs> Is there any chance we can. Damn it! There's no time! It's my city! Ah, oh, city! I need to be in Minrathus. And I must go to Treviso. Go where you feel you must, Rook. We cannot wait. That's kind of cool. What's our move, Rook? Uh, let's see. Help the shadows stop the blighted corrupt. Or we could do this. <sighs> There's a blighted dragon. Wait, they're both blighted dragons. I'm trying to think of which one's going to give me the best rewards. Since I'm already gotten, I got a points in the shadow, I'm going to go with the shadow on this one. We help Nev in Minrathus. But the Treviso civilians... Yeah, I know. I don't like But that's what, that's like my clan, so. The Venatori so. take control of Tevinter. It's going to get a whole lot worse. That said, two of you should go to Trebizo. See if you can help the Carnus get the civilians to safety. 
and we'll head to Minrathas. Understood. Let's all try to make it through this alive, all right? Okay, do we get to choose, like, who gets to go? All right. So, you will meet... Okay. So we cannot select um, Neve either, or we have to. We have to have Neve. So we only get to pick one. All right. So that means the other one. So I'm gonna take Harding with me, and then I think, I think we send. Uh, oh, you don't even select who goes because that's literally the other two people. Okay, that that totally makes sense. What's she wearing? Oh, the armor that we have. Uh, I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but you get it in the very beginning. But I do have Dragon Age 1, 2, and Inquisition, so I don't know if you get it because of that. This almost feels like that the end of the game, you know what I mean? It seems epic right now. I don't think we're at the end of the game, though. That'd be crazy. If this is the end of the game, dude... <laughs> I, yeah, I, there's no way, because... Unless they want us to do, like... Um, basically repeated playthroughs because we're not even close oh wait let's go uh, pop oh sure you pop the heel good oh that was that unblockable Any secrets this way? No, okay. I have to... Can I, can I destroy this? I don't know. Oh, it's just one? Oh, well, there's also a... Uh, a gold something. What is it? A weaver's spool? Valuable item. City too. The dragon's tearing up the city, and the Venatori are taking advantage of the chaos to seize control. I've heard they've made it all the way to the Archon's palace. Forget the Venatori for now. We need to stop the dragon. We can't fight it while it's flying. We need to ground it. Oh, we're gonna kill a dragon? Hell yeah. Here, we can stop it from destroying the city. All right. Let's see if I can get its attention. Oh, is there Kraken? What is this? And the last few portal servants of the Dreadwolf. Gillanane. We need only one thing from you. Surrender it. And you may go. Give up the Dreadwolf's dagger. Come get it. 
by force then. Whatever remains of you will become my new creations. All right, the dragon boss. This is this our first? The first dragon boss. Oh dang, that does a lot of damage. Uh, take care. That does so much damage. Getting the potions, man. Oh dang. I thought we were gonna be able to kill it. It's gone. But it's wounded. We were so close. I know we can beat that thing. Oh, if only we were faster. Or figured out its weaknesses a little quicker. Or able to keep it grounded. Take the win. Dragon's still out there, but it could have been worse. It would have been worse if you weren't here. The dragon in Treviso. We could still help. Let's go. Hold on, Lucanis. Or no way. Treviso. Man, it looks like that city's clear. Everyone's dead. We chased away the dragon in Manrathus. Did you kill the one? We did not. That monster flew around the city for hours before it left, utterly out of reach. It rained ice on the city and spread blight in the canals. Treviso survives for now, as do the crows, but... I mean, like, yeah, we came as fast as we could, but... All right, we'll give him some sympathy. We came as quick as we could after Minrathus. There was little chance, however fast you came. The gods timed their invasion well. I thought we'd be faster. I thought... Rook, you know Grey Wardens. Can they do anything about the blighted canals? Maybe not right away. They'll have their hands full with the gods. Just send them word. Please. We will not be idle. There are people to save and Antam to be made examples of. The city must know who did this. Give us time, Rook. If you truly wish to help, the crows will have work. The others, Nev, are they all right? They are. Then I can focus on Treviso. Once we find our footing, the blood of these gods will flow. Okay. I wish I had a bigger consequence. Like, basically, if you don't follow him, he either leaves your party or... Um... I don't know, he just tries to fight you after. Just something to make it so that matters, because he doesn't die. Like, it would have been cooler if either he died, or again, he left the party, or something. 
like some sort of consequence when you select the uh, two different options. Greetings, friends. Chance Candide at your service. I'm Rook. Ah, Taya and Viago have mentioned that you can be trusted, and I require assistance. The blight has piled itself onto the streets, choking off the city. <laughs> we cannot have it. I will mark where it is worst. Please, go and clear it away. But be cautious. <clears throat> we do not have a good idea of what lies inside it. <laughs> Alright, so we can go clear out this area. Okay, clear blight. And I'm assuming this is going to be the loyalty mission for this character. Oh, we're not supposed to just jump down there. Ooh, we leveled up. So let's go ahead and uh, I think we get our plus 100 damage. Yeah, it's going to be really good. Now it says uh, plus 100 damage to enemies um, at 8 meters. Is there anything else that we can get? Sword stagger. I think there was like, uh, wasn't there some extra resistance we can grab? Let's see. Lose 35% less momentum when you take damage. That's probably something good to have because when you take damage, it does make you lose quite a bit. Um, but we'd have to get, this one's probably not that bad to get either, just the momentum stacks. This also applies bleed on it. What does the ability look like? It's kind of a large leap. The reason why is I really don't like this ability. I thought I was going to like this ability a lot. Hurricane of Blades. It seems like it would be really good. The problem is, is that its range, it, even though it looks kind of big, dude, it's actually pretty tiny. It, sometimes I don't get to hit as many as I want. So I don't really like that. Let's see. Spending momentum deals necrotic damage. I mean, that could be actually pretty good. We get extra necrotic damage. Warning a medium helm and armor. We get, wait, is this 20% damage? Sword damage, perfect defense, momentum gain. That's actually not bad. Necrotic weapons. Ooh, okay, so we should maybe try that. I don't know how much... It, it's 150. Um, and I don't know if that means if I hit him like a multiple times with that thing. Or it's just like a one check mark for a 150. But even, even then, like it's really not that bad for damage. That's basically like another attack every time we use an ability. It's another base damage. So that can be actually something that we can go into as well. But yeah, the only thing I really wanted over here was that uh, plus HP. It's plus 100 HP, which is actually not bad. And then it'd be it's like one, two, three, four. It'd be like four skill points. Primer duration, advantage duration. Is there any like, good ones here? Let's see. Control abilities. Okay. Do these have like tags? Oh, this is a control. I didn't really care about that skill, though. But we're going to have to get it anyways. But yeah, there's a lot of good defensive stats uh, over there. But the reason why is because I already got this, which is what I really wanted. Then after that, there really wasn't anything here. This was actually a pretty good thing. The after takedowns. What was this one? Toxic dash. Apply sunder. Dash towards target and do a deadly blow. What's this one? Maximum stacks. So it's 300 necrotic damage. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's grab this. We'll, we'll see if this, this thing is any good. Uh, the reason why I'm thinking it may not be good, and if it's... Uh, we can remove these two points. Uh, the reason why is I want to make sure that this works. It says uh, damage to enemies within 8 meters. I don't know if that means the enemy has to be within 8 meters of me, or when it, I shoot it, it's 8 meters within that the enemy's range. Because if, if it's that I got to be close, then uh, I really don't want it that much. Maybe we can read the skill, actually. Thinking about it now. What is it called? Conductive shot. Yeah, like I said. If it was like close shot or something, then I would think. It's my favorite. Dragon Age, 100% Dragon Age 1. Two had better combat, but I didn't really like Inquisition. Like, I finished all of them. And I just didn't really like Inquisition. I liked 1 and 2, though. But 1 was definitely better for story and just like the way the game worked. But 2 had combat that I actually enjoyed. I really didn't like one's combat that much. But you survive it. Deep stalker attack together and you make 
fast friend. Uh, extra defense. We lose. Uh, we can swap to it. So like how the itemization works, and I wish I knew this earlier on, you basically have several different types and as you upgrade them and find newer ones, it's like of the same type, you'll get the upgrade. Is that doing the, the shock damage? Good to go again. So that does a good amount of damage. I wish there was a taunt in this game. <laughs> I feel like it's missing that. Alright. Oh, there is a secret up at the top. Uh, I'm not sure how we access it, though. Yeah, I don't think we can climb up there. That's okay, though. Maybe we access it later. Oh, actually, I think I might actually know. So can you change... Oh, okay, this is just a swap party members. Because now I know... Oh, can, yeah, we can climb this. Maybe this is how we get to the secret. in the chest. really necessary to have that thing had hidden in the corner. <laughs> I feel like that was super unnecessary. Now I gotta look for that chest. Where is it? Alright, so it's oh, it's outside of this, this roof. Oh, you can't jump over here? What? Dang, how do we get to it? It's gotta be through the other window then. Oh, maybe I just gotta go further. What's this? Some sort of codex. Now I have access to that, but I, I still wanted that chest. Okay. I don't think I can jump from here, can I? I'm trying to understand how I get to that. Oh, is it just right here? Ah, okay, I see, I see. I'll just go from right here. Oh, wait. Yeah, 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 okay. All right, we got it. What was it? Was it worth it? Ooh, a, a long coat. It gives us less that, so that's going to be no good. But... It happens sometimes.
What does that do? Oh. Ooh, found a secret. Ooh, a, a ring. What does the ring do? Ranged attack. Okay, that's actually a, an upgrade. And then, if we wanted to, we could equip the. Um, I'm gonna have to redo the, the thing though. I'm gonna see if it opens up something else because that actually expired quite fast. Okay. I'm assuming throwing the daggers also counts as range damage. I don't know really why they added platforming to this game. I don't really feel like it needs... <laughs> like, it should have just been like a, a little bridge that you could walk across. Are these, like, bad guys? Oh, maybe you can't fight them. Alright. Ooh, a thousand. It's 137. Oh, you do have to be within a, a close meter. All right, so I'm gonna refund those two skill points. And one thing I do like with this game, honestly, is like they like encourage you. Oh, well, right now we're in combat, but um, it does have to be within that that range. Oh, it goes all the way. Okay, over there. Is it this? Just go through it. Oh, it's it's on its way to blow it up. Oh! <laughs> yeah, what the heck was that? What is this? Throwing daggers is a really great skill. What is this thing? Super tanky. Sometimes that thing doesn't work where it says it's supposed to give us, like, a, the bonus lightning damage. That's a win, Rook. I hate to say it, but we should take a look at that dog spawn. Something was off about it. Investigate. This dog spawns wearing a necklace. The pendant's shaped like a crow. We need to show this to chance. Okay. Oh, okay. Cor I like how they, they call it Corvid. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's got extra ability and light damage. Ooh, that's good. But we do lose out on... I mean, 50% damage is really not that bad. I, I think that's worth it, man. Just because of the extra light damage. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go uh, unspec out of uh, this. Those two. And I, don't, I wish there was another faster path. Uh, I, I do like explosive daggers. Uh, I wouldn't mind skipping out on this, but there's really no other option. Actually, if we got sword stagger uh, versus pen, 
we could go here and then we can uh, actually refund this. Oh, just kidding. Um, this does give us this though in one point. I think that that's worth it in one point. Yeah, that's worth. And then now we can also try out this new uh, ability, uh, which is uh, a dash ability. Cool. So now we have a new toy to mess around with. Oh, we have to equip it though. Uh, how do we equip? Gotta go to my character and then we're gonna equip a uh, dash. See, it looks like you can only have four abilities, which is fine. I, I think that that's like okay enough. Is there crafting? You know, I, I haven't gotten to craft anything yet. What's my thoughts so far? So I like the game's combat. It gets way better. Like the first four or five hours are because, you know, it depends on like your speed. Um, I didn't really like the story for the first like couple hours. It gets, the other stories get a lot better. Like the side stories are actually better than the main story. Open the journal. Oh, we're, oh, we're done with that quest. So we have to go to, where's journal? I don't know if I go to start. No, I shouldn't be there. I'm going to make a save file. Every once in a while, I'm going to try to make some saves just because I want to sometimes go back. And I actually give them mad props for letting us actually save because some games, these days, there's no like instant save where you can like uh, reload. Is it library, codex, glossary? Is it under map maybe? Oh, okay, now I hit journal. So uh, factions, regions, we can uh, defeat the champion. Oh, I want to defeat a champion because Traverso has been blinded this quest expired. Ooh, that's really cool. So there are quests that can actually expire, but I want to defeat a champion. All right, let's go do it. Uh, and then, so now we're going to open up the map, I guess. Oh, wait, what's this? A new quest is available. Well, let's go TP over here. Oh, I think we can fast travel here. Oh my gosh, the fast traveling is so good. You just open up the map. It's not like you have to get to a waypoint. I thought you might have to get to a waypoint, but if we can get another quest here, let's go grab this quest, then we're going to continue. Oh, this is the one we finished, actually, right? We cleared it out. It's going to give us something. We got rid of the blight in the streets, but we also found this crow pendant on a dark spawn. You know, I, I don't know if they removed crafting completely. It's just, we, ha we haven't engaged this with it yet, chaos. potentially. Our trainer for the fledglings. She went missing. That dark spawn you fought must have been... <sighs> May she rest. Well, and so they turned people I into it. I must ask you to search for another wayward crow. Who is it? Fletcher. Our provider of fine goods is also missing. They were sending me reports of Anton movements. <clears throat> Despite this blight, our invaders are planning something. Here are Fletcher's roots. If the blight found them, they deserve a clean end. Like any crow. Okay, well, uh, I am doing this one first. So now we are going to go to the other area. So basically, these are kind of like portals. Uh, Dock Town. Can I just teleport towards that? Is that like an option? Can I just teleport to like... Okay, so that's the objective. And uh, we can mark the door. Oh, that's cool. It shows you like everything. It's actually pretty well done. I like this. We have just, what, two two more extra quests here too? Dang, I almost want to just go check out the quests as we kind of go along. Uh, and there's also the wardrobe right there, right? What's the, what's the tent? A candle hop. They carry messages through the city. So let's go sell the random things. And then we have no more weapons, no more armors to buy. We have to like rank this thing up. So what we need to rank it up. Oh, you can upgrade the accessories too. But we need the little like, does it tell you how to get these? I don't know what these are called. The little like green rocks. So we need more green rocks. 
How do we get them? I really don't know. If anyone in the chat knows, let me know. But yeah, let's go uh, grab these quests along the way. I'm just going to mark them. Is this how you mark? Do we mark it? Okay, well, it's fine. I can see on the mini-map. It's like right here. Oh, what's this one? Merchants. Ooh. Oh, I just saw that they were in gold. It's just uh, cosmetics. Oh, you can buy the ore. Ah. I forgot how much we needed. Oh. So, so that's cool. You can basically convert material. So since we are Shadow Dragons, uh, this is our town's uh, like currency. So I'm going to rank up our... Our town. Nice. New items become available. All right, so let's go see if we can get some new uh, armors and stuff. So let's go to buy, and let's see what we get. So currently, uh, we get damage versus health. Okay, cool. Upgrade that. Let's go do that. And then, uh, that's all we can get right now. So the rest of it requires the shop to be upgraded. And uh, our current one is a certain enemies. 25 oh resistance i don't really care about that um oh uh, does it show what you have equipped i would wish it showed you what you had equipped so i can like have for reference i don't really care about that one too much detonation damage i don't really feel like that's super great for us uh what else was there uh weapon oh just weapon damage that seems actually really good just flat weapon damage because the other stuff that I was getting uh, that I have equipped is like bleed damage. Like if I just get flat weapon damage, that seems really good. So increased healing, your critical hits apply chilled. Uh, I don't know how much crit that you can get in this game. Um, all enemies when 10 minis are frozen. Uh, this seems actually pretty good. But I actually really want this. Just get that straight up 10 damage. Uh, I don't really care too much about this. I don't know if you can put those on the other characters though can you put the runes on the other characters or is it only my character because i oh you can't oh well we should put the points into this character though even though i'm not using this character immovable let's see what else we got healing bonus what does uh, immovable do it uh Immune to physical reactions and interruptions. Yeah, let's grab this because I want her to be like a healer character. Even though like the time stop ability is really great. And then with this guy, I think we have a lot of points to put in. Um, let's see what the skills look like. So we can call it and then it does a weakened thing. Feeling Okay, so invulnerable. Uh... Immune to any damage? Oh, that's kind of nice. It's got a, kind of a long cooldown, but like I'm guessing there's like cooldown. I feel like that <laughs> the damage reduction ones are just so so good, but the abilities actually do a pretty good amount of damage. What is this ability? Oh, it's just like a slam attack. And then we've got uh, a meteor. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go with this. I mean, just immune to damage. It's just it sounds pretty OP versus a boss, and then we have extra. I'm guessing it's like three, three, four seconds, but if I get 20% cooldown on a 28 second ability, that's okay. So I'm glad we got that. And then with Harding, uh, which is a character we actually do use, uh, we got um, cleanses all, okay, I think that's really good. And then the CDR, okay. And then with Lucian, which is like the, uh, the dagger guy. So we have, oh, he can also throw a potion? Oh. I don't know why it's X'd out, though. Oh, maybe I, I haven't acquired it yet. Uh, debilitate. Uh, so he can do Sundered. He can also do Necrotic. And does a bunch of barrier damage. I think that, that can be kind of nice. Grants enhanced damage. Okay, well, I guess we're going to do that with the, this guy. That's what he's going to be used for. And then lastly, we have one, another character, and... We've already maxed out her heal, unless we want extra, like, effectiveness. I feel like it did heal for quite a bit already. I mean, I can make it heal for more, but I actually really like that Blizzard skill. What's the final things that you can get with Blizzard? So, uh, if we can get... Okay, damage versus barrier. We have extra damage. The effect now tracks and follows. Oh, that's actually kind of nice. 
increased radius. Ooh. Oh, damage is increased by 25. Oh, but then it reduces the radius. Ah. But I guess if it follows, it might not be as bad. What's that? Cooldown duration. Uh, we have duration. Applies chilled on hit. So it just chill eventually frees the target. It just slows. Okay. Damage per second is increased by 10 10%. Okay. So, like, I think the cooldown reduction would be probably pretty good for her. But I, I really feel like the heal is just so much better. What does this one do? It's just a ice spike. 36 seconds. I mean, it's the same cooldown as Blizzard, but Blizzard hits everything. <laughs> I think there's a no-brainer. Blizzard way better. But you know what was, was actually pretty OP, though? I really like the, the slow time, but its cooldown is so dang long, though, man. I know you can get cooldown reduction, but I want the, the heal to be up. And it's not like each ability, as far as I'm aware of, it's not like each ability has a cooldown. It's like everything shares its internal cooldown. So you want like cooldown reduction on every single thing that you can get. I guess we get the 10% heal. Oh, you can't get both? Oh, I see how it works. So if you get one, you can't get the other. Is that how it works? Ah, okay. So you can get 10% or you can have uh, while you're low, it gives you 50% additional. But low in this game is what? 30% or under? Hmm. That's okay. And then we also have... Uh, I don't really care about those, to be honest. All right, I'm going to get the uh, the Blizzard one now. All right, we're good. And then, uh, do we have upgrades for her? No, no upgrades for that. Oh, we might have an upgrade. A bonus ability damage. Okay, cool. And then we can get either Frozen Duration, which I'm actually going to remove and swap to the other trinket. So what we're going to do is I'm going to remove the Bleed one, and then we're going to put on the Weapon Damage. And then for her, I'm going to put on the bonus cold damage ring. I don't really care about the ones that I'm actually going to use. Do we have any other trinket? No. Or all the, the trinkets locked. Oh, so the trinkets, like, I have my own trinkets, and their trinkets are only locked to their character. Okay. I, I had to learn that, you know. They nerf the companions in the game? Really? I feel like the companions are really strong. Confused? Yeah, the game's definitely great, man. After the first five hours, the story gets... In my personal opinion, it gets way better. The first, like, couple hours... I like the combat enough, so... It, it, I mean, the story could have sucked and I'd still be playing the game. Because, like, the skill tree is awesome. But, like I said, the story gets better. Are you alright? You're Rook. I'm Vesta. What happened? Why is her bag freaking out? She got, like, a mouse in there or something? Fighting dark spawn her rose toy is going off, man. Look at it. Get help. We can't leave the dark spawn if they escape into the city. Just sit tight. Is it is still going crazy? All right. Uh, let's try the side quest. No. Let's see if it's worth it. Cause oh, yeah. Oh, we can actually do it. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't have to actually swap my party member. Oh, that's so, so good. But at the same time, I, I almost wouldn't mind because it kind of encourages you that like, oh, there's something with this character in this area. What is this? Some sort of loot? Oh, it's just like some lore. Big chest. All right, what do we get in the big chest? Some currency, okay. Ooh, we just got a new weapon. More damage or no? Ooh, rarity increase. So we have... 25% uh, extra healing. We have damage versus health, which is... Uh, I, I think I'd rather just have light attack damage. 15% of 135 is what? I don't know. I think that the physical damage might be actually better. But since we get extra healing, I'm like, oh, I'm just going to take it, man. And it's also higher rarity. I'm going to pet the cat. All right. It's mandatory. Okay, we can't open up that. So I... I think we can, can we go in the bottom for this one? Actually, can we open up the uh, the map over here and fast travel? So we need to go over here. I think we can fast travel here. I actually really like that. Holy, that's like a very, very nice thing. But I feel like the game gets like way, way, way easier. It starts off way too hard. Like the enemies do too much damage. Like you only take like three hits in the game. It's not like I was going full glass cannon. I just didn't get that 100% or not 100%, uh, 100 HP, which is like, it's like what, 600 ish HP? I mean, it's a decent chunk of extra HP that we could have gotten. Oh, this is gather the party. We don't need to do that. We're back. We're good. We're good. I like this party. This is my 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 go-to party right now. I'm pretty happy with it. 
Uh, if we can get Morgan, we're kicking out one of them from Morgan. Probably not that little dwarf girl, though. I think she's the hottest character in the game. So, <laughs> so we keep we keeping her. We'll try out our new skill, guys. Ready? New skill. Oh! Oh! It hits so many? I like it. Oh. That time it didn't get uh, like a sexy dash. Last time it was way better. Woo! That dash is really satisfying. I'm not going to use my ultimate. That's not, that's not worth it. That's why I like having two heals. <laughs> this is a lot of combat, man. You just for fun because they just keep on coming man I'm beginning to think I'm supposed to destroy some sort of thing to stop them from spawning. Was that was that something I was supposed to do a long time ago? This guy, I was having fun. <laughs> Thinking about now that the throwing daggers, I actually like it because they do AOE damage and they're like ranged too, right? And if we get the ones where like your ranged attacks all um pop blizzard, okay. Uh, we get like the plus 100 li lightning damage on every single one. That could actually be pretty nice.
tried to block it. Up on the D-pad. Or do. Right trigger, okay. Not even attacking, there we go. Alright. Let's keep clearing blight from the cacums. Okay. Well that's done. Oh, hmm. Oh. Are we fighting something? Done. Okay. Did we get whatever we needed? Am I supposed to shoot this? Oh. Or more? Oh, it's one like on the other side. You can barely see it. There we go. Oh! A Venarius Altar. I've never seen one of those. So you can actually increase your max HP by more than just the one that node on the, the thing. I'll be in uh, Minotaurus. I'm not sure for how long. Every letter ends with I don't know what's next. That feels especially true lately. You'll have to learn more in the next one. I'll know the future by then. Okay. Well, that's unnerving. So I need to look up all those locations. That'd be a pretty good YouTube video, like to uh, to work on too, like all the locations of those. I'm trying to read the the paper. All right. Uh, the old routes mostly pass uh, passable. We just need to shore up. Okay, whatever. I don't really care too much about that. Uh, okay, wait, we already read that one. So is there still, like, another thing I need to destroy? Oh, is it past this gate? Oh, it's this. We need to grab this. A puzzle or something? I'm sorry, things got heated, but I'll just can't give up on Toss Gullet. Okay. Okay, so there's definitely a secret right there. So I need to go place this on the other side somehow. Does this connect? Oh. You can't just shoot this down with an arrow, right? Just shoot down the ladder. No, okay. Oh, we're still in combat. Oh, there's a chest over here. Which we can't access. A 
Okay, I just was wondering why there's a guy hanging from there. So it can't go that way. It looks like this could do something. Do I need some sort of weight? Hmm. Hello, Parky. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just a crystal. Can I, like, break this? Hmm. So I, I need this thing to actually cross. Maybe I have to access it later. What's this? What was that? Oh, it's on the very top. Man, I didn't see that at all. It's the last one, maybe. Where's the last one? Where's this one? Do I have to do it again? Did I miss out on the timer? So it's like timed. Oh, okay. I see one up here. So it's one. Oh, I got them all. Oh. And that one should open up this one. It sounded like something else opened up over on that side too. This, this, this didn't open up. Ah, this wall looks like you can break it. Okay. It's got, like, cracks in it. Okay, maybe we need another item. Maybe something else happened over here. Was that guy there before? I don't remember seeing that guy. Huh, okay. Oh, what? oh it's just a letter. I don't know. No, I don't think there's anything here. Do have a laser over here? Heard ya. Okay. Got it. Of course. Wait, can I just like walk in here? Oh, for some reason I was thinking it was like poison water and I was gonna be unable to uh, do anything about that. Okay, so that locks that one in place. Because you can only move one at a time. Ah, uh, okay. Did we just solve it? Okay, I think we kind of solved the puzzle now. Old magic, forgotten red. We got a belt. Uh, it gives us 15% momentum generation. I think that that's worth it. Um, a momentum for our build is uh, like mana. And it works just like Virgil's, like, uh, I forgot what it's called. The Motivation meter. And when you're lost, fret not. Steps will always lead you somewhere. And with Silas's blessing, and no matter how many steps it takes, that will, that somewhere will be home. Okay. I'm not sure if that actually helps us out on our puzzle here. Now. I'm assuming that laser did something, but we're gonna find out. I still can't open up that. <laughs> I want that one really bad. It still didn't open up that either? All right, well, you know, I'm gonna fast forward to that one part. Let me go ahead and like walk over there. Okay, so we actually go back to where the laser was and then right above our head, I didn't even see this, so it's just right there. 
And then now we can actually progress. Can you turn this? It looks like you can, actually. You guys see that? There's like a... A yellow indication. We're probably gonna do that later. Could be more blight where it leads. Okay. Do you get the feeling we're being watched when we're in the catacombs? I hope there's a boss. Wait, what? Okay. I think these guys explode, yeah. Finish it. Oh, did we use Blizzard? It's good to use Blizzard. Oh, that's unblockable. <laughs> There's a treasure chest right there. I almost missed out on that. <laughs> it's like right there. Ooh, we got a scepter. Uh, we got extra cold damage and stagger. Cool. I almost like that it's like so easy to like swap your like stuff. You're, like you don't even have to really think twice at all. What are these like blue things? Maybe we'll access them like later or something. Oh, there's a item right there. Was it a forgotten coin? I mean, what is opening up this do? Oh, it's just like some alternate path to the same area. Okay, so that we were just clearing out an area. Always good to know the shortcuts. Okay. So now that we've cleared it out, maybe we get some sort of reward. Vesta, we got the darkspawn that attacked you. They won't get into the city. Thank you. The wardens will be glad to hear it. As will the Shadow Dragons. Quillen, by the way. I'll ensure Vesta gets the healing she needs. Good. Doctown owes her for the warning. I'm glad we could help. Okay. Woo! We finished it. So we gained 500 XP. And then our bonds got increased. So now we're going to go do the main quest. I guess we're going to get another quest on the way. Uh... Let's go. Oh, does it not mark the, uh, I thought we hit A on it. Can we mark? Is there really no, like, mark? Just don't right click. Can... <laughs> there's no way there's no mark. <laughs> How do you have a map and not have mark? That's like a very basic thing. Am I, am I blind? You can zoom in and out. I mean, I guess since we have fast travel, it's not as bad, but. I just think that you should be able to mark on the map. What do you guys think? Am I asking for too much? Oh man, which way do we have to run in the direction? But that that quest wasn't too um, too long. It took us like what five ten minutes. Oh, you know what? We actually spent a lot longer like uh, fighting. Ooh, what is this person just like dead? in the middle over there. Souls alone as the light left. I was there, less alone. You're a spirit of compassion. My own name, but one of theirs. Three I found, felled by demon claws, murdered, 
A connection I cannot see. I have impressions. But if I learn more, answers might unfold. This one. Green against grey stone. Rain. Nourish. How she watched it bloom. Find who she was. Okay. I, I don't even understand this quest at all, but I guess we're doing it. Investigate the demonic murders. We've got a trail. We just need to follow it. Oh, uh, to find, follow the blood trail, I guess. What is this? The voice was real. Oh, is this all like in uh, some sort of cryptic thing? Is it our first clue? Okay. I, I'm just gonna skip the text. Feel free to screenshot or pause if you want to. She was a gardener. Green against gray. It, there are others. I would know more of them. Because this is a side quest. I usually don't like to skip dialogue, but like he's talking all in like some sort of tongue that we'll probably have to like eventually learn if there's a uh, like a hint towards the uh, way that it works. Okay, so wow, this one's like a oh, this is all in memoriam. Oh wow, this is quest. Uh, okay, this is just two. It's not that bad. So this area is locked. I'm gonna go over here first because the other quest, the main quest is actually right over here. So this way we'll kind of kill two birds with one stone. Wait, do I go through the gate? No, no, we don't want to go through the gate. We want to go. Am I going the right way now? Uh, yes, so we're gonna take two levs. I guess we can also maybe follow the blood trail. That cheese looks good. I should get some to take back. Oh, we can have it with toast and <laughs> apples. Another demon killing. Oh, we like passed it. It's in this circle. Maybe, maybe it's down here. Oh, there we go. We need to get them away. Have some other ability. A drum rush. Oh, that gives us enhanced damage. Ah, okay. Wait, she, so she has a buff too. He has so much HP, man. Got it. There we go. of compassion and another murder victim this one a roof denied okay 
So we would find one last one. Is it also in this area? Let's go. Oh, is the the trail is the blood? Let's maybe go up here. The detail of the docks town's market. Okay. Yeah. TLDR. A cat. <laughs> we were supposed to talk to the cat? Were you friends with someone here? Uh, rooftop mesh and shadows. Oh, maybe the cat was the clue? Charcoal drawings. By some a world smudged in shadow. He drew Doctown's darkness. A faint connection begins to bind them. We must find the third. Okay. And then it might be actually faster if we fast travel, right? Yeah, we can fast travel here. And then hopefully we can open up the gate here. I'm not sure if we have like some sort of key or what, but if not, we can fast travel to the other side. So how do we get uh, get in here? Oh, we just straight up open it. Because it showed on the map it was locked. I don't know if we had to do some sort of puzzle or something. Looks like we just walk, walk on through. will be really good once we get that so after crossing paths in the deep roads you get in touch with Evka and Antoine yeah we trade letters every few months one time Antoine sent a diagram for some kind of automatic door he was developing based on springs it oh there's the last one demons it looks like another victim we need to chase this down Oh, that just one-shotted it. these actually I'm just kind of curious oh that's really cool that you can actually pop those so is there a way to like pop this like smoke that's around us oh no it's gone Should have bought that rune that was like it freezes everything because that would be very helpful. This guy moves way too much. That's pretty cool that they actually react like that. <laughs> she like repeats the story that she didn't finish. Compassion. This one. Curiosity undimmed. Just one more answer. Truth and story beneath the ruins. 
find who he was. I will find you then. Something, oh, okay, I guess we have like a larger area to kind of search. Oh, we got the fast travel. What's this? Oh, I'm going down. I don't know if this is part of the same quest or if this is like a different thing. to shoot anything on the way down? Okay. Ah, uh, we have extra bleed. I already have one of these. It's just rarity increase. Oh, so it's the same ring. Okay, so when you find you find the same item again? Okay. And you get like damage versus bleeding enemies. Oh, whoa! The spark wielder, some sort of elite or boss? Let's get him down. He's gonna pop. There we go. Uh, I guess we can all have to attack the same target. There we go. Dang, that has so much priority. All right, let's move out of the way. Well, he shocks the whole entire ground. The whole ground is shocked, though. Rip. So if you die, yeah, you actually fail. That was our first step. Um, hopefully this doesn't mean, like, our actual save, because that'd be so far back. I'm sure it's going to load in right when we fought the boss. But I guess going in melee might be kind of bad. Okay, so that's not really that far back at all. I'm wondering if we can fight him um, up here. I don't think the boss fight initiates. What is that like? You know, is that showing where you like ripped? But, like once he has, what is this thing? Oh, is that supposed to maybe? Oh, it gives you a skill point. Look how much HP that takes away. Holy! That's so much. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, are we not supposed to fight it? I almost want to... Yeah, I need the heal, though. Just countered. And there's like too many enemies. Why is there so many? Ah, 
Ah, uh, yeah, maybe Blizzard. so close to ripping dang this thing is so hard am i like not supposed to fight this like this early on i i, I feel like we can do it but <laughs> there's just genuinely too many enemies over here i need uh i'm trying to think what would be better here like the first time we fought it it didn't seem that hard like there weren't that many enemies that spawned in Oh, it's this time it I didn't have to activate that thing again. But yeah, there's like way too many enemies. Well, it did give us one skill point. Maybe that one skill point will make a difference. Hold on. <laughs> Let me put that skill point in. All right. So we have one skill point. I don't really need this toxic dash that much. Like I can unspec out of that. The primer duration, that's fine. I actually kind of like that slice strike, but if I really have to, we can remove that uh, to get the extra like uh, there's... I'm not sure what kind of damage he deals. Uh, we need, what, two more? Uh, I kind of like this skill, but it's fine. Like, if I had to get rid of it, I would, but it's not like we really need to. Um, oh, actually, we might need to. But I like how we can swap on the fly. That is actually very nice. Um, I do kind of like that. But the thing I really wanted was this extra HP. There's two nodes in the game that gives you fizz resistance. This also apply bleed. Okay, applies bleed on hit. So we at least have uh, that ability. But I think there's two nodes that give us damage reduction. Um, I wouldn't mind the powerful. You know what? Let's let's mix it up. You know, we don't have to play with the same thing every single time. And I like I like I actually really like that. So we're going to get that, which I think is actually going to be useful. I think there was one more thing that gave us physical damage reduction. What does the little icon look like? looks like HP. A little heart. Do we see any more hearts? No, that's all you get. No other defense notes. There's one right there, which is like necrotic res. Oh, actually, that... That's something I wouldn't mind getting. Uh, so we have max arrows. We have maximum momentum plus 50. But I never feel like I max out on it. Oh, we have that one. Yeah, uh, we could get that ability. Or what else? There's penetration. Necrotic damage. Bleed stacks. Well, that's a good advantage. Uh, any beneficial effect? I wonder if that works with the... Uh, the the potion i actually kind of want to get this i guess we're going to get this skill as well so i'll we'll have two new skills to play with and we'll see kind of how it goes so let's go to our character we have uh what is it pilfer and then we have the lightning flask also uh what does what we can do oh oh it won't let me target has burning okay all right let's Number three. I know if some people like watching people fight the Dark Soul bosses a thousand times, but let's see. Let's see if we can. Let's let's try to kill. Oh, maybe I wasn't supposed to start the boss fight until I killed these, because it, it generally felt like it was way too hard. just applies like electricity to us for like for like a duration
Wait, this ability is like really good. How much damage does it actually do though? It's every few seconds you get a pulse for like a hundred. That's actually really good. I'm glad we actually decided to swap. That slam attack is so good. Knocks him down, and we get that. Oh, so good. See, if we didn't fail that, I wouldn't have swapped. Maybe we should just say that for the boss. <laughs> okay. Ooh, we gained another level, so we get to use another skill point. Cool. All right. Was there anything else that we could get? Uh, maximum momentum seems kind of cool, but um, I'm gonna do this. I wanna try to get this extra stack. So you get two stacks, uh, well, gain deflect. So you get two, two hits of just not taking any damage. Each advantage increases your control ability damage. Oh, each, so each buff, okay. So I actually wouldn't mind getting this. I mean, two hits uh, of not taking any damage, especially against bosses would be pretty big. All right. That. All right. Let's make sure everyone's cooldowns are all off. Go ahead and grab this so we can get as much HP as possible. Make sure there's no more enemies. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm guessing that leads us up. But I want to fight this boss. It's really hard, though. Like, genuinely. Okay, so it says 15. What level are we? We're 16. We just, it, should be, it should be easier, right? <laughs> All right, let's try and go for it, man. That's a problem. Get clear. Oh, let's pop this. Do I want to do Blizzard? I think the time still might be worth it. All right, let's try this. There's like too many of these like ground effects I feel like that he throws up. Did it only do 39 damage? Can we just order them both to attack? <laughs> yeah. Sixty one. Like I said, I almost feel like we're not supposed to fight him at all. Oh, he's level 20 now. That's 720 on that.
Oh my gosh, that's so much damage. Oh, he can spawn things in too. Wow. HP. Holy, that boss was insane. I, I'm gonna wait. I don't want to walk over there and we just rip. Holy. Oh, we finally did it, man. Alright, let's go pop a heal. What is he dropping? The champion essence. What's a champion essence? Okay, so that wasn't part of, like, the, the main, like, quest. We got an amulet? What do we have? Uh... We have tool ability damage. So I think that that is like for like the turrets and stuff. But we don't have uh, access to that yet. But man, that was a really, really tough fight. We work final company. The work will be here forever. Okay. So we use that little elevator. So that monster, I think, was actually level 20. Because it had like a number 20. That's maybe why it was way, way hard. Uh, for Neve. So we have bonus ability. All detonations are 50% wider. Oh, we could have probably considered running some sort of like detonation combo for the boss, but I don't know. That thing was probably not going to be easy either way. Oh, okay. a very long way to get back up okay so we're still investigating the murder well it looks like the blood goes this way but i don't think it's down there because down there is the other thing oh is it up here 
I don't think we have to do any parkour. The blood doesn't continue, does it? Alright, now there's blood right there. Ah. There's a mirror, I think, over here. Alright, what's this? It shows the mirror or something on the map. Maybe it's this. No valid companions. Oh, so we're going to have to get a companion that does some explosive stuff. I don't know if that's part of the, the mission, like we have to do that, because I don't think they would make us go all the way down there. Maybe this is a mission where you need that to progress, but they should put one extra blood, unless we have to just read this. Sybil, you're right, I'm sure of it. There's so much more here, there's so much more fun together. The letter continues on a shake your ha hand blow, but won't we... Uh, but we won't, will we? The demons took you, and how can I do this alone? How did you make things feel possible, Sybil? I don't know how. The blood doesn't go down. Maybe we need like some character to progress here. So I'm going to sign that one out as uh, we will still do it eventually. But let's go do the other quest, which is... Oh, man. Uh, journal here, F. And then we're going to do the, the main... The main quest, which is... Ooh, where is this? Oh, it's because we're on a different level. Ooh. Where is this at? Oh, is it not marked for the, like, the main quest? Oh, we hit, hit, you have to hit track. Okay. It says, talk to Solus. But then it also says, like, solve the thing. Are we not tracking the correct one? Okay, lighthouse. Oh, it's marking it right here. Uh, but we still got to fight a boss at the end of the day with that one, so I'm pretty happy with it. I have to walk like around here. It's... Another location. Actually, can we just fast travel to it? I think that that would just be easier. So, let's see. Can I like, click here? I think you can only travel to, like... What the heck? My character's avatar now. It's all blue. <laughs> New missive? A bit, m missive? What's that? Is it meant to say mission available? Where's the wardrobe, by the way? We got some extra armor. Okay, cool. We're walking towards it, I think. The, uh... We bought some armor a while ago, and we never got to, like, check out the wardrobe. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, which one was it, though? Oh, it was one of these. Oh, that doesn't even look cool. <laughs> I just saw that it was a red coat, and I was like, okay, we can be, like, Devil May Cry. Alright, let's check out the other armor, though. That one's actually very similar. Ah, that doesn't really work, though. I feel like the pants just ruined that one. I don't think you can change the pants. This one is a newer armor. This one's kind of cool. I feel like it kind of fits the character. From the back, at least, it looks like a rogue, but I think this one just looks cooler. Uh, let's see if we can see any of the other ones. Oh, dang, there's a lot of armors, but I guess it goes for every single class, because some of them... Uh, definitely looked like they were for, um, they were like light. Uh, I don't know, just equip this on both. I like it. And then, um, for this, let's see what we have. Okay, I'm gonna go with that one. And then for this one, I don't really care about these ones too much. Oh, these are the same. And then we have uh, this one. JT, yo, thank you so much for the, the high bears and thanks so much for the ice cream cone TikTok gifts, man. I appreciate it, mates. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we got, oh that one looks terrible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, uh, the bow was terrible. <laughs> All right, let's go next. Meditate. Thanks again, JT. Uh, J Thomas, I appreciate it. 
All right. So this is probably going to open up the next section of the, the game. When last we spoke, you intended to assault the cruel and the corrupt in hopes of finding servants of Algernon and Gelenay. Has your search been successful? You could say that. It looks like both the Venatori and the Antom are working for Elganan and Gilanane. Unsurprising. The Venatori want magical secrets, and the Antom want to destroy anyone opposing their brutal expansion. Both will readily bow to anyone who promises them power. It's more than a promise this time. The Antom and the Venatori both have dragons doing their bidding. Dragons? That is worse than I had feared. Yeah. We drove off the one the Venatori brought into Nrathus. Barely. Have you determined how the dragons are being directed? If it is blood magic, it may be possible to disrupt their control. The dragons were blighted. We think that's what let the gods control them. The blight? Of course. The blight seems to be the gods' favored tool right now. We ran into Venatori who could control Darkspawn. Elganan would not bestow such power unless the Darkspawn were to serve as the main force of his army. And I suspect Gilanane will see the Darkspawn as new subjects for her... modifications. We've already run into a few Darkspawn nobody has seen before. That's in addition to the Blighted Dragons. That is the fate Elganan and Gilanane planned for this world then. Corruption and Blighted Slavery. <laughs> Instead of your demons. <laughs> <laughs> right. Everyone should be free and uncorrupted when your demons and raw magic kill them. Do you truly believe my goal was to destroy this world? I believe your goal, like you said, was to transfer the gods to a better prison. The one you're stuck in now. And you were willing to tear down the veil and destroy this world while you did so. The veil is a wound I cut into the Fade in a moment of desperation. While making their prison, it should not exist. I had a host of spirits ready to help when the veil fell. They would have minimized the loss of life. So, best guess, how many deaths? Hundreds? Thousands? At least. Those deaths would have been on my conscience. But the world would once again be as it should be. Oh, and here I was worried. Many would have died, I know. But afterward... Flowers would grow again. Spoken like a god. I am not a god. I am as I have always been. A man. All too aware of his failings. But equally aware that if he did not act, accepting the judgment it would bring, all would be lost. They call me the Dread Wolf. What will they call you when this is over? <laughs> it won't be that bad. I'm gonna stop the gods my way without getting thousands I don't like any of those answers to be honest. They weren't meme enough. I kinda like the certainty that you can do better. The comedic one. I believe I can work with that. If the gods are using dragons, you will wish to find someone trained to fight them. Have you unlocked the lighthouse alluvian? Yes. We found the crossroads. It's still confusing though. I cannot help you from in here. You may need to find an expert in the magic of the fade. And if the Darkspawn are to be Elganan's army, you will need Grey Wardens to fight them. I've got a few of them. Their leaders don't trust me right now, though. I have faith in you, Rook. You seem to have a knack for gaining the cooperation of your adversaries. Cool. Oh, for a second I thought the so game crashed. <laughs> I need a dragon hunter and a fade expert. I wouldn't trust the Dreadwolf, but he's not wrong about us needing a dragon hunter. I've been a warden for a while. Seen some pretty awful things. But what the dragon did to Treviso? I'll never get that out of my head. Rukana stayed. Said he'd be back soon, but at least you took care of yours. We hurt it, but didn't kill it. The dragon flew off before we could put it down. A dragon hunter would have helped him in Rathas, that's for sure. Hmm. Then we find one. Next time a blighted dragon comes calling, it'll be the last time it comes calling. We can't forget the second dragon in Treviso. We should see how we can help. 
But we're without Lucanus until he's done helping the crows. Who knows how long? Oh, our bruise is actually kind of healed. That is really cool. Stuck in our regrets, all right. Just so we're clear, you're taking advice from this elven god Solus, the Solus who tried to tear down the veil. You really trust him? Trust is such a strong word, you know? <laughs> So you don't trust him. Uh, All right, then. So a fade expert and a dragon hunter. I'll ask around about dragon hunters and see what turns up. Come talk to me in a bit. And I've been corresponding with someone about the lighthouse's reverberative oscillations and the resulting dimensional peculiarities. Oh, sorry. Not relevant. I'll get a message through to a fate expert immediately. <laughs> See, Rook? Nothing to worry about. All right. We all know what to do. Let's get going. All right. So let's see real quick if we got any other character upgrades because we got a bunch of approves. I'm not sure when a character approves if that gives you some sort of like a uh, companion like XP. But uh, let's see if we got some skill points. Oh, whoops. Uh, we got zero, but he's got like an upgrade on his sword or something. Oh, it's less damage though. All right. All right. So we don't have any extra uh, skill points. Oh, but you can see actually. Yeah, you guys can see that. Um, so this is like, I think how much, um, relationship we have each rank grants two skill points. Ah, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, well, this is where I'm gonna go ahead and call it for this part of our PlayStation, man, but it was really fun. We definitely advanced a lot in this one, and I'm really excited to see uh, once we hit 20, because right now we are level 16. Once we hit 20, guys, we will be able to get the next section of the skill tree, which uh, we're gonna try out. I wanna try out all of them, as long as we can freely like respec, which again, I really like that they let us do that. I'm gonna go duelist first, and it looks like, I don't know if it costs 20, and then 21 gives us that one. But uh, we're going to be able to get this uh, Murder of Crows here. Let's check out all the abilities that we're going to be getting. So that's a really cool looking skill. You know what that reminds me of? That is so similar to Final Judgment and Devil May Cry. In fact, I wonder if the person that like worked on this game like had heavy like influence from Devil May Cry. Because there's a lot of things. Like the uh, the momentum system is legitimately like... I forgot what they call it. It's I think it's called Concentration in Devil May Cry. Where you just basically gain uh, like gauge um by not taking damage and then um, when you take damage it like goes down but cool anyways yeah like i said uh we will be getting this hopefully in the next part of a play session but anyways thanks for watching this part of a play session if you enjoyed it drop a like on i'll see you guys in the next part